So, spatial chat, how does it work? Well, spatial chat is a video calling tool where you can move around and meet other people. Right now, there is nobody in my space, but as you move closer to people, you will hear more or less about uh, what they're saying. So the audio increases or decreases based on how, how, how close or far away you are. The other thing to keep in mind, you can zoom in to see a bigger uh, video. In this case, my video is off, but if you zoom in with your mouse wheel or with the controls down at the bottom here, uh, you can zoom in and zoom out. There is also like different rooms where you can go. So right now this is the main room. You can go into the garden. And there is also a dance floor. There is some music playing, which I don't think you can hear because this is not routed through uh, my headset. So where, um, how can we customize all this? First of all, rooms can be added here on the side. There's an add room button. In every room, you can uh, change the position, rename. So there are permissions here where you can assign people to have a chat, to be able to use the camera, the microphone, the megaphone, uh, the sharing. Uh, so that's how you can like get into those options. So the chat used to be uh, that you type stuff and it disappears. They recently introduced a persistent chat. So if you click on show chat, you will see uh, you will see something that uh, I was saying and is persisted here as well. So that is something that is pretty different. If you've seen um, if you've seen spatial chat in the last two three weeks, this persistent chat wasn't there. Uh, how do you change those backgrounds? So uh, on the bottom left, there is a customize icon. By clicking that, this menu pops up. And then you can start by adding a, or pinning, as they say, pinning a GIF. So I'm gonna pick the first one that comes up. And this is now just like pin there for people to, to go in. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can pin a video. So if you have a link to a YouTube, like I had in the, in the other room. So if we go to the garden, up here, I pinned this this video. Uh, so that's that's how it got there. I just basically put in the YouTube video of that. That also will bring in music. So right now we're not hearing it. Uh, again, it's not uh, it's not coming through. But the closer I get to the video, the more music I will hear, or the less, the more far away I go. Usually, what I do, I put in some of those visual cues to indicate to people that there is music around those cues. So the tent and the fire act as point attractors for people to go there. So let's meet at the tent. So people meet you at that icon, but also it's kind of like a, a little fence around where music is. The other thing you can do is change the background. So by clicking change the background, this opens up and you have a plethora of a pretty cool backgrounds. So the one I'm using right now is one of theirs. So you see this one with the, with the waterfalls. Uh, you can pick this one and they change immediately. So if people are using the space and you change it, it can be kind of frightening and disorienting. So just be aware that it changes in real time. Only admins have access to those uh, features. So there's also that to be said. So the background settings, so the, the, about the, uh, there's like a brightness option here. I tend not to change that, but it might be useful to you. And the scrollable background. So if you don't make it scrollable, well, actually it looks like if you make it, um, so scrollable allows you to do that horizontally. I'm not quite sure what that does. I assume that there used to be a feature where, hmm, I don't know, it, it seems pretty much the same. It used to be that there was a tick box that wouldn't allow you to basically zoom in or out. You were basically static into that space. You can only, sorry, you can only zoom in or out, but you can't uh, move. So it was, this was the space and that was that. But I'm probably, maybe I'm getting confused. Those tools get updated every week or so. so. That's something to keep in mind. Well, this is about, this is about it, about customizing. Uh, there's also a broadcast option. Uh, once you click it, you'll basically start broadcasting to everybody else in the, every other room. What that means is that when you have people in the Praxis Camp room or in the dance floor room, everyone will hear you. So it's pretty, it's pretty useful. 
uh, for that kind of like PSA, public service, service announcements. Uh, the megaphone is something that allows you to speak and for everybody else to, to hear you. Again, if people is far from you, like say that at the tent, they might not hear you. Uh, they only hear nearby where you are. So using the megaphone is a way to have everybody in this room hearing you. And those are features that you can turn on or off based on those uh, check marks here. Now, uh, the other thing that is um, that is pretty relevant is the um, admin power. So right now I can't show you, but if you basically click on individuals, you'll be able to uh, assign them the admin role. Oh, sorry, the co-host, I think is the name. Uh, and that allows them to use the megaphone. Uh, sorry, that allows them to use the broadcast, which, which can be pretty useful. They can also play with some of the uh, background settings. I think they have access to that. So this is it. Uh, the rest is mostly, um, well, there is something interesting here too. I think you can set a space, sorry, a start time. So say your event starts tomorrow at five, you can set that here with a time zone and the, the space will have a message saying the space will open at that time. Uh, the other thing that you can do is set a password for this space uh, so that when people go in by clicking space password, uh, you basically, it, it's a simple way to keep your space, um, keep your space uh, closed to people that don't have permissions. The permissions, um, those permissions are the same that we just saw earlier. So this is it. I hope this was useful and uh, thanks for watching.